My name is Alex Cecilio. I'm a graphic artist. I'm going to show you how to draw an anime character in Illustrator. So I started off by drawing the face already and locking it on a layer. And I'm, I added a new layer on top. So just make sure that this, you can't touch this. Just make sure there's a layer above it. Go to the paintbrush tool. Make sure that your fill and stroke colors are the same. And then uh, use your paintbrush tool and start drawing the hair. So. Draw some hair. Okay. So this might happen to you at first, so just click it and just put that color back in. And there is your. And you, um, you can adjust points if you want um, with the direct selection tool if you're picky about that like I am. Um, so now we've got this hair. So I'm going to add some shine and I'm going to add actually lock this layer too. And I'm going to go up to my next layer and select a slightly lighter color. So maybe that color. And in fact, make it even lighter, like a really light. And you're going to want to apply it to the direction of the hair. So what I'm doing is paying attention to where the hair is um, flowing. So that way, when I create the light, it'll, it'll look like it's going in the direction of the hair. I decide I'm going to make that really close to white. Um, so, um, yeah, so then what you're going to do is, if you want to, you don't have to, but you can outline it, but you can also add darker colors, um, so I'm going to go back in here, put that color in, and then go back and make it a little darker, and then you can also, if you want to, you can add dark patches, like this just to get a sense of depth. You don't have to do this, but if you're doing it, um, make sure that these thin lines are thin. Okay, so now we've got the, uh, the head. And now I'm gonna actually add some eyes. And the eyes definitely are gonna help, once you get your eyes going, that's what's gonna really define your anime character. Now, anime eyes can be a little tricky um, if you don't know how to make them, but I'm just going to show you a really quick. So it's always an arch downward, almost always, and then usually it's like that. And then there's a thing in the middle, but I'm going to draw that separately. So the pupil, I'm going to draw like this, and then I'm actually going to select it, and I'm going to add some color to it. And I'm going to delete that. And what you can do is you can copy the line, delete it, and then paste it so that it's on top. And then from there, you can just start um, adding darkness of the eye, which is actually pretty important. And then you can also add the light. Um, the light is going to obviously be a different. It's going to be nice and bright. Um, and if you want, you can also, if this bothers you, which like it's bothering me, uh, you can always just copy this shape, um, hold Option, drag it, change the color and then shrink it down, and then just put it right back in there. So that way you've got your pupil. And then object, go to object and group. And then you can add it to your face.
and if you want to, which I do recommend you do, draw a circle underneath the eye and make that circle white. Okay, so you put it there and then copy your eye. And then paste it. And then you can do something like that. And then and if you want, you can even just copy it and paste this entire eye by doing what we did before, holding down control and dragging it. <clears throat> And then um, right-clicking it and trans going to transform, reflect, vertical. I want these to be slightly up. And then, um, <clears throat> then what you can do is uh, add an eyebrow or two. And then um, anime characters tend to have, it almost looks like a chopped nose. It's strange because um, it's just, it's a side angle, but you do something kind of like that. And then you can also just click that and reverse the color so that it looks more like a nose. And then if you feel picky about it, you can play with that later. And then your mouth is almost always going to be pretty dark and pretty thin. Oh, that didn't work. And add a dark color. And there you have your basic vector anime character. And if you really want to, you can add, um, if you want to make it really cutesy, you can just add some pink. Right there. <laughs> My name is Alex, and this is how you create an anime character in Illustrator. Thank you.